So in this video, I'm taking on what I would say is my biggest restoration yet. It's a silver Vesta case dating between 1910 to 1911. It's been crushed and flattened and bought as a metal detecting find. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the lid from the main body by knocking out the pin. With there being a large split down the side of the case, I decided to split it in half to be able to work from the inside out. split I can remove the tension spring inside and then heat the item to remove the chain link before continuing to split it in two. The last thing I had to do was remove the tension spring holder. I'd done this by heating the item to the point where the solder melted. Now that the case is split, I begin to flatten out the bumps and dents with a hammer and wooden pole. I use a pair of pliers to unfold any sides that have been crushed. After a little reshaping, we managed to get the two sides roughly meeting. Before connecting the two parts together, I'll fill in any cracks or openings. So I now start to reconnect the two parts, and I foolishly use some tension pliers to hold the case together, meaning with heat applied it will slightly distort the case.
Lesson learned, using pliers the first time, so we use some nickel wire to hold the two sides together. With the major connections made, I can go about connecting and filling in the rest. I then begin to tackle the lid with some pliers to ease it open, and then hammer and punch it to do the rest. Similar to the main body, I did also split it, shape it, and solder it back together, and it turned out like this. Then I begin to file away any excess solder. and use a burr to re-establish the striking grooves found along the bottom of the case. Next, I reconnect the chain link. then also reconnect the lip of the lid that I had to take off off camera.
Once I'm happy with the test fitting, I clean up and refit the tent and spring with a steel brush. Place the lid so that it engages with the spring and fit the pin in place. With the reconstruction complete, I can start to finish it with emery paper and a steel brush. So there you have it, still some dents and scuffs but compared to how it started I'm very happy with the outcome. And that's it, thanks for watching, obviously if you enjoyed this then be sure to leave a like and I'll see you next time.